I wanted to go over a um, PackTalk bolt install in a, uh, a Nolan N100-5 modular helmet. Uh, so ignore the GoPro, let's remove that actually. What you're gonna do in your helmet, just so you guys know, is you're gonna put the uh, the PackTalk bolt probably here, maybe? The problem with the N100-5, as you can see, is you've got um, this button here, which is what uh, depresses the, um, the drop-down visor. Uh, and then when you look at the actual way this thing opens up, you don't really have a lot of space here for your cardo. So the, the closest you could probably put it is right here. But then as you can see here, this trim piece is missing because I had the, um, the Nolan Incom installed before. It's really not conducive to the left side uh, cardo orientation. So it looks completely odd having this thing so far back. But in my opinion, there's really no easier way to get it installed. In addition, Obviously, Cardo would prefer that you use their um, their clip-on mount, which slides into here. But this is such a deep pocket that um, it doesn't work. So you've got to use their stick-on mount. So this is the this is the stick-on version of the uh, PackTalk bolt. Uh, so let's drop this down. Oh well, so let's while we're in here, let's go ahead and show this inside. So here's your um, your uh, your Cardo uh, microphone right there. So I've got this um, stickied with Velcro right inside of here so it's back there you can see it and then for the um, the speakers themselves um, let me still get the camera on for you guys there you go so um, if I pull this back you can see that uh, this is in here it's just stuck right in there oops gotta push that back in there we go and then for the um, the speakers now you can probably see here they're right there that is the JBL speaker it does fit this is the 40 millimeter JBL setup. It does fit in the um, the holes, but what I had to do was on the EPS liner, I had to take um, just my fingers and make the hole slightly bigger. I would say the hole is probably like a 30 or 35 millimeter, and I had to use my fingers and just basically push on the EPS and do a whole circle pushing in. And I basically compressed the EPS to its maximum compression on that little, on those first cells that, that round the uh, circle for the headphones. That was the only way to get the 40 millimeter JBL to fit. So if you're purchasing the back top black, uh, it's 45 millimeter. I'm not even sure that the EPS that um, rounds that, that, that hole will even support that without you actually cutting EPS out. So all I did was compress it, uh, 45 millimeter, you probably have to cut it. Um, and then from there, what I did was I took their included, um, they give you these square sheets of, uh, of Velcro that are adhesive on one side, Velcro on the other side, you can push them into those holes. Uh, in my case, when I put them in there, the Velcro, uh, the adhesive wasn't sticking to the um, to the EPS. So what I did was I took 3M double-sided, really heavy duty uh, tape, and then I uh, taped the square one side Velcro, one side adhesive into the hole. I also cut the four corners off the square so it fits inside the circle. And then I put the speaker in that was Velcro on one side and stuck it in there. So that's how that works. Um, as for running the actual cable itself, you can see here, I used to have the Incom installed. So there's a gap right here. All of the excess wire from your uh, speakers is tucked into here. And then the rest of it just runs into the, either of the speakers. Um, and then the final thing here is I've got these two cords coming up. It'd be a bit better if you ran it up through here, but this is very sharp. It's sharp on all these. So just, you know, be careful with it. Um, so while yes, it does look stupid that far back on the M100-5, that's sort of the only place you can put it on this helmet. Um, because if you put it up here, it's no longer a modular. So, um, you know, I will say that fit and finish, obviously the Incom that, that, that fits into this little cubby here and this little cubby here is obviously superior, but um, the Cardo is a better system. So if you're dead set on putting a Cardo in your helmet, I hope this video for N100-5 owners was um, was helpful. And with that, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Ride safe.